knowing that all I got to do is keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. It might suck right now, but then it's going to feel amazing. Like, you know that that thing is at the end. You're kind of chasing that dragon, but it's, a, it's attainable. Yeah, I think if I, like, would have thought to myself, like, or if I came to the realization, like, oh, shit, I'm going to cut grass for the rest of my life, then I would have been like, oh, man, you know, because I think about, you know, like, my knee kind of hurts now, my back kind of hurts now. You know, I was, you know, I'm 39 now. I was, you know, whatever at the time. I did it from the time I was 30 till, you know, I think for six years or something like that. And at the time, you know, my, you know, I felt like an old man already. And I'm like, shit, what am I going to do when I'm like 50? I'm not going to be cutting grass, you know, or I hope not to be. So my, my goal from the get go was always to own rental properties from, you know, the time I was like 16, I was always like, when I was doing the band thing, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get signed. And then I'm going to use that signing bonus, you know, back when they had that with like record labels, <laughs> they give you like some like lump sum or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to use that to buy uh, uh, my first rental property. That was like my goal. So like, it was always like the underlying goal, like behind everything I did. And, uh, and I'm glad I did that because it's like, that's, that's, that's kind of like my base pay. You know, like I have the rents coming in as long as the tenants are happy and everyone's paying. That's kind of like my base pay. So when I go to sell a house to somebody, I'm not like stressing out. Like, oh my God, if they don't buy this house, I'm going to be bankrupt. So I've, I've got myself to that level of kind of like security, like where, um, you know, I don't, I don't have to sweat selling these places or, or, or doing these things on a, on a, on a daily basis. Um, but that was, that was always kind of like the the goal when doing these lawns like every you know um i I put all all my friends are like buying all this like all these like cars and trucks and you know here i am with a landscaping business and i don't have a truck and they're like buying quads and jet skis and all this crazy shit and uh and here i am like just dumping everything i had into buying more rentals so it's like i bought all my rentals with with grass money (laughs) right and well that's so that's kind of like um one of the things that I talk about, or at least, you know, I've had a lot of conversations about is like the amount of sacrifices that you make, um, being a small business owner or wanting to, you know, grow a small business is like not always buying that nice thing that you can afford or like not going to that concert, not going out to that bar and having those drinks with your friends while everybody else is going out and not being able to make it to like that family thing that, you know, everybody's kind of guilting you to go to but you know you have something to do and if you don't do it it's got a cascading effect or you miss out on an opportunity that you can grow on like there's so many of these sacrifices and a lot of the time you do catch flack for it right like people will guilt you for not showing up or for not having something or and I'd have, I'd have so many nights, dude, like before I had like an assistant or, or any of that when I was like first starting Arkham um, you know, it was just me in like a little room with no windows. The only window I had like overlooked the, the banquet hall at the Penn Brewery, the Eisen Hall. And I'd be in there until like two or three o'clock in the morning, like doing statements, like, like a, like a more, like I, I you know, I'm like sitting there tight. Like I don't type, you know I mean? I'm yeah. not like that. I don't know. I'm just like do, 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 and putting together these statements and every two keystrokes it's wrong and I got to redo it. And I'm just like, you know, just you're tired, you're fatigued. And, you know, I'd be there till like two or three in the morning. And then, uh, you know, I just end up crashing at the office, you know what I mean? And then 